New York City is a hub of dreams, ambition, and an enduring history. It's home to everyone from famous artists to successful professionals, all drawn to its vibrant lifestyle and opportunities. Yet, beneath its thriving surface, New York faces a growing challenge that threatens its sustainability and reputation as one of the nation's greatest cities. Rising sea levels are becoming a global concern, leading to frequent flooding in many coastal cities. Take Jakarta, for instance. Indonesia's capital is now sinking due to rising waters. Shockingly, New York, despite its prominence and success, is dealing with the same issue. As sea levels rise, the city is gradually being encroached upon, and at the same time, housing prices are skyrocketing, a problem that's widely recognized. But what if there were a single solution to tackle both challenges? A plan that not only addresses New York's environmental concerns, but also takes on its housing crisis. This ambitious project could take decades and cost an estimated $30 billion. In this video, we'll explore New York's bold strategy to expand into the sea, combat rising water levels, and stabilize housing prices. Don't forget to subscribe, Builds Breakdown, for more updates on the latest mega projects. To grasp the seriousness of this situation, it's important to first understand the geography of Manhattan. If you're unfamiliar with it, there's a lot to break down. Manhattan is a 60 square kilometer island located in the heart of New York City, surrounded by several rivers. On the west, there's the Hudson River, the Harlem River to the north, and the East River on naturally the eastern side. Manhattan is one of the most densely populated areas in New York, home to more than 1.6 million residents. That's around 30,000 people packed into each square kilometer. Staggering, right? And the situation gets even more intense during working hours when traffic congestion, pollution, and general chaos engulf the city. It's as if the idea of peace disappears in this whirlwind of urban life. To accommodate this massive population, the island has grown vertically with its famous skyline dominated by towering buildings. Among them are iconic structures like the Empire State Building, the Central Park Tower, and the World Trade Center, currently the seventh tallest building in the world. But it's not just the skyline that has expanded. Modern-day Manhattan has increased in size by about 25% since its original form when Europeans first arrived on the island. Now, the challenges of limited space, rising sea levels, and the need for further expansion are pushing Manhattan to undergo yet another transformation with the development of new Manhattan. The future of the island is about to shift dramatically. This is the ambitious plan for Manhattan's largest expansion to date, a project that could change not only the city, but also the global conversation around urban development, innovation, and economic growth. The scale of this project is staggering. With an estimated cost of $30 billion, though experts predict that by the time of completion, this figure could balloon to as much as 10 times the original amount, making it a monumental financial undertaking. The vision behind this ambitious project comes from Jason Barr, a professor from Newark, who in 2022 authored an opinion piece for the New York Times outlining his bold proposal. His idea? To add an additional seven square kilometers of land to Manhattan. While this may not sound like a massive increase at first glance, the impact of this expansion could be so profound that it would completely reshape Manhattan, making it nearly unrecognizable even to those familiar with its current form. The innovation and opportunities it would generate could transform the island into something entirely new, no longer resembling the Manhattan that has become a symbol of American urban life. The plan proposes a 10% increase in the size of the island achieved by expanding southward into New York Harbor. This new landmass would even envelop Governor's Island, integrating it into the expanded Manhattan. The development will include a wide variety of housing types, from smaller apartment buildings to towering high-rises that will complement and further enhance Manhattan's already iconic skyline. The addition of this land would not just increase the city's capacity to house people, but would also create new economic and cultural hubs that could stimulate further growth and innovation. Jason Barr's proposal addresses a critical issue that New York has been grappling with for years, its ever-growing population and the resulting pressure on housing. As Barr pointed out, New York's population has surged dramatically in recent decades. At the start of the 21st century, the city's population stood at around 3 million people. 
Fast forward to today, and New York is now home to over 8.3 million residents. This exponential growth has placed immense pressure on the city's infrastructure and housing market, making it increasingly difficult for many people to find affordable places to live. In addition to the growing number of residents, New York also sees a massive influx of visitors each year, far outpacing other major US cities like Los Angeles, Chicago, and Houston. This surge in both residents and tourists has caused housing demand to soar, which in turn has driven up prices to unprecedented levels. The current housing market in New York is struggling to keep up with this rising demand, and the high cost of living is becoming unsustainable for many. Even with some relief provided by the COVID-19 pandemic, housing prices in New York have continued to climb, creating a housing crisis that the city must address. To put things into perspective, the average rent for an apartment in New York City has now reached around $4,000 per month. For many people, even those with substantial incomes, this figure seems astronomical. It's more than double the national average for rent in the United States and can be three or four times higher than the average rent in many Asian countries. This staggering cost of living has become one of the biggest barriers for people wanting to live in New York, making affordable housing a crucial issue for the city's future. However, the new Manhattan Project offers a potential solution to this problem. The expansion would provide homes for approximately 250,000 people, alleviating some of the intense housing pressure currently faced by the city. Even more promising is the news that the homes built as part of this project are expected to be priced at relatively affordable levels. If these plans are realized, the new Manhattan could help create a more sustainable housing market in New York, offering new opportunities for residents and easing the financial burden on those who have long struggled with the city's exorbitant rents. The new Manhattan project isn't just a response to overpopulation. It offers a crucial opportunity to address the impact of climate change on New York City. Climate change is a growing concern globally, and New York, given its coastal location, faces significant risks from flooding. With studies predicting that the Atlantic Ocean's circulation could shift within the next decade, New York's vulnerability to extreme weather events becomes even more apparent. If major oceanic changes occur, New York could be directly in the path of the resulting disruptions, potentially exacerbating the effects of climate change. And these aren't just future possibilities. New York has already experienced the consequences of climate change. In 2012, Hurricane Sandy devastated many parts of the city, leaving over two million residents without power. The flooding was widespread, affecting subways, homes, businesses, restaurants, and sports arenas alike. It was a stark reminder of how vulnerable the city is to extreme weather, making us question what future storms might bring, especially as sea levels continue to rise. Imagine if sea levels were even higher and a storm of similar magnitude hit again. It's a daunting scenario that no one wants to face. But according to Jason Barr, the architect behind the new Manhattan project, there is a solution. His plan calls for the extension of Manhattan's land, which could act as a protective buffer, pushing more vulnerable areas of the city further inland. This could reduce the severity of future floods, offering the city some much needed protection. The expansion would also be designed with climate resilience in mind. The new land could be constructed at a higher elevation, with many experts suggesting that an elevation of around four meters would be sufficient to mitigate the risks posed by rising sea levels. By building this new extension at a higher level, New York can create a barrier that protects the island from future environmental threats. One key aspect of the plan is the inclusion of the Big U project, a 10 mile long flood defense system intended to safeguard lower Manhattan. This project, funded by New York City, will not only help protect against flooding, but also offer recreational spaces for residents and visitors. It's a multifaceted approach, combining urban expansion with environmental resilience. In the end, the new Manhattan Project is a bold step towards solving two of New York's most pressing challenges, economic inequality and climate vulnerability. It represents a forward-thinking approach to urban development, offering a solution that balances population growth with the need for climate adaptation. What are your thoughts on this ambitious plan? Do you think it can succeed, or is it too far-fetched for today's reality? 
Share your views in the comments and don't forget to subscribe Builds Breakdown for more updates on the latest mega projects.